Hello, Keller ISD family and staff. I just wanted to uh, make sure that I was providing you and the community a brief update on what we're doing uh, here in the school district as a result of this uh, weather that we've had over this last week. Um, our campuses are ready to go and, and ready to be opened up on, on Monday, and we will be welcoming our students back both in person and remote. Um, and so I wanted to be sure that all those updates were, were being uh, seen, that we're pushing out on email. Also, I'm here on site at uh, Trinity Springs just to continue to thank our city of Fort Worth for passing out water. Uh, we could, we are doing that today again as well, uh, and and City Keller doing everything that they're doing, surrounding cities, surrounding communities, churches. Uh, everybody has pitched in to do everything they can to take care of of our staff and our and our community members, and we're so thankful for, to be able to do that. You know, a big reason why we're able to open up our schools is because we have had a, an amazing uh, facilities team, an amazing technology team who have been working round the clock since this thing started to make sure that our buildings are ready to go for our students and our staff. And I just can't be uh, more thankful for them and, and the work that they've done to get us to get us up and running. Um, but but know that I, even though we're able to open up schools on Monday, there are still a lot of ripple effects to this. We know that there are people who are still dealing with a lot of hardships. Um, then they're still finding out about things in their houses um, that we will continue to support. We know we have staff members that are needing to, to deal with things at their home, families that are needing to deal with things at their home. And we're doing everything possible to support uh, with uh, being able to help them as much as possible. So just keep track of those employees. We've been pushing out some information to you, families. Um, if you have needs at home, if you have some things or some concerns about being able to even come back to school on Monday or being able to connect, I would encourage you to make sure that you're talking to your campuses. Uh, please reach out to your principals. If you don't have the ability to do that, uh, ask a friend or a neighbor to do that. If friends or neighbors uh, know that they have some people who, who don't even have connectivity to see this video, please reach out to them and be their, their voice and be their mouthpiece to be able to, to get them the support that they need. We wanna do whatever we can to support you. Uh, and we're gonna give a lot of grace through this time while we get everybody back on their feet. And uh, so, so please, please know that grace is, uh, has been our theme since spring break, last spring break. Uh, it will continue to be our theme and frankly, it never expires. So just know that that's going to be what we're doing to take care of our people. Uh, I, I do want to address a couple other things, the boil notice, boil water notice that was lifted in North Fort Worth, which is a huge celebration. Uh, we anticipate that also being lifted soon in the city of Keller, but we'll keep people posted on that. Uh, and then we'll have a couple more campuses. Florence is in South Lake and Liberty is in, in Colleyville that we're gonna keep watching there on boil notices. But even if we're still under the boil notice, uh, we will be able to open up our buildings because our child nutrition services will be able to take care of our kids with appropriate foods. Um, we'll make sure we've got some bottled water, but I would encourage families to go ahead and get some bottled water, be able to send bottled water with their kids uh, in the event the boil notice does not lift in some of those areas and on some of those campuses in a timely fashion. Um, but that's just another way to help us um, uh, manage through those days, and you can you can help us by doing that by trying to get whatever water you can send send with your kids. Um, one other thing that on, on April 2nd is actually a built-in bad weather day, and I've had some questions about whether or not that's going to continue. We do not have to use that day as a bad weather day. We had built-in instructional minutes, which was a good thing, uh, but we also had some new TEA waivers that came through that we'll be able to leverage. So we are going to still keep that in our calendar as a bad weather day. In the event, something else, please know. Uh, but something else happens and we might need to use it later, uh, we are going to keep that in our back pocket. So that, that is still going to be a day off for the district as a bad weather day. And if anything changes from, from that point, we'll let you know. Uh, otherwise, our campuses, all 42 buildings, uh, are up and ready. We do have four that we're still working on making sure we can heat properly. Uh, if there are some heating issues that roll into late Sunday, we'll, we'll make sure we notify the community of that if there's a, if there's a reason we can't open the buildings. Uh, but it's really just those four limited ones. We still have crews walking all of our buildings today to check on anything else that's outstanding. But all in all, we're good to go. We will see you on uh, on Monday the 22nd in person or remote. And if you can't, please make sure you're just talking to our campuses. We'll take care of you. Have a great day.